Hello everyone, uh, this is the sixth video under the topic of communication between components and today we're going to cover uh, the topic of referencing child component. So uh, sometimes from the parent component we want to directly invoke the methods or properties uh, of the child components outside of the declaration. Right? So uh, for example some event happened you want to uh, trigger some other things uh, under the uh, under your child components. Uh, let's take example uh, very quickly. Let's create a, a let's create a, a child component. Uh, actually, it's going to be a control. So let's create a folder and call it controls. And then under here, let's create a a uh, new razor component, just call it child component. We are going to be displaying the child component under the counter component. And let's have a line break here and then let's call it, let's call the child component right here. Uh, right here, well, let's, that's ugly. Let's import our namespace right here. Um, Let's play the three dot controls. So and then we go back and delete this and we call it child component. And now if we refresh the screen, uh, we'll see our child component right there and it and there and there here. And uh, uh, what we want to do is that we want to we, we only want to display the child component when we click on the, the button. Right, so, uh, do the extra line break, and then uh, we're gonna have a button, and uh, we're gonna have, and now we wanna, when we click on the button, we wanna display it. So, uh, basically means that we are not gonna display whatever markup that we have uh, at the beginning. So, we're gonna just declare a Number here and then says it's a boolean and we're gonna say and call it display and we are only gonna display this if it's true right so we're gonna put this right here and then we go back and uh, this button we we'll, we'll complete that button later so if we refresh then we don't see that we see this empty button here but that's okay so the important thing is that we're not seeing that child component anymore so we want to click on the button and uh, to show the the child component and over here we're gonna say unclick uh, and what we want to do is uh, we want to uh, display the child component we are gonna say here we're gonna how do we set the display variable under the child component that's where the uh, referencing child component come into place so how to do that is that we do we say reference and we say you know child and then over here we create a attribute and we say you know, child component and child so this name and this they have to be the same and then we can use this to reference the child component so we can inside here right we can say child dot uh, something right so what do we do we go to the child component and we create a public method we say show and then we just say you know display equals true and then going back to the counter component and then we say child <clears throat> so when we click that button we reference a child we say show yourself my child All right so go back and refresh now we're gonna see that button and this button is using boma so I do have boma here and this button is controlled by Boma. It's using a Boma class, 
but I haven't referenced the Boma under the host. You can see that I have this, but I don't have Boma, right? So as soon as I reference Boma, then it's going to be displayed. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take effect. Refresh again. All right, that's Boma style, and I like Boma much better. Uh, so in future demos, I'm going to use Boma for uh, developing components. Actually, today as well. Uh, so. Now you can see that we are not seeing that child component, but if I click on it, it's going to trigger that child component show method and uh, set it to true. So the child component is going to show itself. Okay, so the reason why the child component is not showing, again, we talked about this in the last, in the previous episode. It's that's because the component will only render itself in four, under four different conditions. First is when the component is created, it's just created. Secondly, is when parameter changes, parameter value changes. Thirdly, when there's event uh, handlers, for example, you click on a button and then under that event handler, you change the state of the uh, component and that component is going re to re-render itself. And fourth, fourthly, uh, that's when the developer want to re-render the component by calling the state has changed method. So because we didn't call the state has changed method and because we are calling the show method from outside of the component or within the component, right? Uh, if you had a button right in the child component and then you trigger the show method and then you change the property, you change the state of the child component, then the child component will will be re-rendered. But in this case, we have to specifically, as a developer, we have to specifically call the state as change, and then uh, it will re-render itself. So let's refresh. You see, when I click on it, child component shows. Right. So go back. Uh, every time we we navigate to a component, it recreated, it's recreated. So now you don't see the child component, but when I click on it, now it shows. All right, so let's have an even um, a better example. Let's let's create a, a dialogue with, with Boma style, and then we, we kind of toggle it, right? So let's go to Boma, and uh, let's go to, yeah, Boma, model dialog and let's go to model and what i want is this model card and it looks like this and it's pretty clean and uh in order to show the model dialog you can see that in order to so to activate the model just add is active mo modifier to the model container right <clears throat> so uh we're gonna copy this and then we are going to create another component. We're going to call it. We're going to call it uh, dialog component. Right? And then over here, we're going to remove this and have this over here. We're going to actually add this is active, active uh, right there. And boom. We are not going to change the class. What we are going to do is we're going to have again the same same sort of thing. We're going to have this, and uh, uh, we're going to initialize it with false, and and get over here and say, hey, if the display is true, then then we display. Otherwise, we are not going to display anything, right? So, go over to counter and remove child component. We are going to say, <clears throat> uh, we are going to reference, we're going to add the dialog component right here. And we want to reference the dialog component by 
using the name dialog and over here we're gonna say dialog component dialog and we're gonna trigger this right here but it doesn't have the show method yet uh, let's go to our dialog and create a show method public void show this dot display equals true and we can also have our close method right over here and call this display equals false and another thing is that here's a button you see this button it's a close uh it's a close button and we also need to make sure that we close this as well and we're gonna call uh unclick right and uh again we're gonna have our uh we're gonna call this and uh we're gonna say close we're gonna call the close method that we just created and and we know that this is not gonna work because we have to say state has changed right and we get over here and call this as well now we go to the counter component we refresh it um actually we should change the name to show dialog uh go to counter and we change the name to show dialog and we're coming back and refresh again and then we click on it we see the dialog right well it's not doing anything but we click on this button yes it closed so going back to dialog component and get over here and we also call this um uh let's just uh to make it simple we just call close like this right and of course on these event handlers we should actually do more than just closing but for today's demo we just only call the close method and that's everything we do for today let's go back and refresh the screen all right so we have this and these buttons work as well as well as the close button so in future videos i'm going to creating uh, some common components like confirm dialog, regular dialog with uh, with template with render fragment. That's everything for today. If you like my videos, please give it a like and subscribe, and uh, please hit the bell so that you can be notified with my future videos. And thank you very much for watching.